This is question number 10, which a lot of people got wrong. And um, I think there's some misunderstandings about this word true here. Um, and some people thought that maybe you needed parentheses here or that there would be some confusion about putting it in a string. So I think that maybe I didn't really teach this concept of literals well, so I need to sort of go over that with you again because it's going to be an important topic for the AP test. So let's look over here at the whiteboard. And we first want to make sure we understand what a literal is. And a literal is a constant value that appears in a program. So these are four examples. These are four examples of literals, 3.4, the string ABC, the integer 7, and the Boolean value true. Now, literals are interpreted exactly as what they are. So when the compiler sees 3.4, it realizes that it's a decimal number of the value 3.4. So I want to talk a little bit about this one in particular, which is a little bit confusing. But I want to talk about it in terms of all the literals, because the literals have some special properties. One of them is that if you take a literal and you put it into a print statement, the print statement knows how to turn the little literal into a string before it prints it. So if you go like this, if you go and then you put any of these inside the literal, so if you put 3.4 here, the compiler knows how to take the 3.4 and convert it into the string and convert it into the string 3.4 and print it. Similarly, if you were to take ABC and put it here like this, that of course is already a string, so it doesn't have to convert it to a string, it just prints it. And finally, if you were to take the value true, which is also a literal, it knows how to convert that into a string. The string it converts it to is this one. And then it prints that. In addition to working with print statements, the literals can also be used with a concatenation operator. Let's look at that for a second. So this operator in Java is sometimes used for addition and sometimes used for concatenation. If I have numbers on both sides like this, the compiler knows that it has to add the numbers together. In this case, the result is of what data type? Yes, sir? Double. Double. How about this one? What is the data type of the result here, Ms. Salutkar? Integer. Integer. Int. Right. See that, right? Now, it turns out that if either or both of the operands are not numbers, then it knows that it needs to convert it into a string and concatenate it or put it next to each other. So if you were to go like this, what string would be formed here? Miss Cindy, what string would be formed here? Hello 7. Likewise, if you go like this, what string would be formed here, Mr. Nair? Um, I true. Okay, and so for those reasons, you can mix and match these literals inside a string, and the concatenation operator will be smart enough to convert all the ones that are not strings into strings and put them side by side. Is there any other question here on question number 10 as to why it's this thing? Are we all good there? Yes, sir. I have I, like a variable, like if I had just like an x, but it wasn't declared and initialized, like just an x, would that not compile? So if I write this, and I don't have x declared, what is it going to say about the x? It's not declared or initialized. It's, it's, not, it's a variable that it can't find. So that's what it can compile? It will not compile. Thank you. But this can't be a variable name because, well, because it's a literal. It's, already predefined. Anyone else? Okay, so let me cycle my